Hyper Boy and yours truly right back at you here. A pleasure to welcome you on board tonight, <laughs> the Sports Buzz. A great segment that we love to bring you. Where are they now? We found out last week by going to the Alabama function out at uh, uh, Greenbrier Restaurant last week. I had a chance to catch up with Lemansky Hall, a young man who has some jewelry that every Alabama fan would love to have and every Alabama player right now on the current team with Nick Saban would love to have as well. A member of the 1992 National Championship team, Lemansky Lemansky on the Smith Enterprise Hotline with us tonight. Lemansky, welcome in. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, man. We are doing great. Uh, it's good to see you last week. It looks like you're in plain shape. You're doing something right, man. <laughs> well, I'm trying to stay in shape. Uh, I, I work out at least four times a, uh, a week, so... Uh, you got two kids that keep me busy. Yeah. You know what? Before we uh, get into the, uh, the X and O's and looking uh, back, uh, as the uh, segment is called, Where Are They Now? If you will, Amasi, catch us up on what you are doing now. Well, I work for, uh, just so I, live in, I live in Tennessee. I live in Franklin, Tennessee. Been there now about 10 years um, and recently retired in 03 and uh, had an opportunity to do high school coaching for a couple of years. I did that. And then I got into the business of uh, athletic training, sports performance training. I now work for a company called D1 Sports mm -hmm. Training, and we specialize in speed, strength, and agility. Uh, we train high school kids. We got executive training, which is for uh, men and women and adults. Uh, we do pro training for the NFL Combine. We do corporate wellness. We kind of do it. We kind of do it, um, a lot of different things right now. Easy boy. Well, Lansky, let me talk about as you grew up. You had a great story that you shared with us last week. You actually grew up an Auburn fan. Wanted to ask you about that and also about your meeting with Coach Pat Dye of Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, my hometown is Valley, Alabama, which is near Auburn, uh, right there on the Chattahoochee, uh, on, on the Chattahoochee River, right on the Georgia-Alabama state line going up uh, 85 north. And uh, I grew up a huge Auburn fan. We had two guys from my high school to go to Auburn. So it was just uh, it was one of those things. To grow up in that, that side of, you know, Alabama, you knew that, hey, um, you, you know, you knew you grew up just knowing that you was an uh, Auburn fan. Well, through the recruiting process, uh, I think Auburn just assumed that I was going to come, to, you know, just going to come down here. And um, I had a chance to meet Pat Dye. And walked through the meeting and, you know, sat down and talked with him about Auburn and all the expectations, all that stuff. I left out of the meeting. Uh, I told my mom and dad, I know I won't be coming to Auburn. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I just felt like maybe the guy was drunk or whatever. But <laughs> I, I just knew that, you know, Auburn was not a place for me. And, and I remember just stepped in, man. They did an incredible job, Bill Kerr and his staff. Did an incredible job of selling all. I mean, selling Alabama, and uh, John Guy was my recruiting uh, coach. He recruited me, and he did an incredible job. Let me ask you this: and That's a good story. Uh, <laughs> talking about coaches and, and equal time here now. We know that Mike Shula, that Alabama. Uh, your experience with Mike and how it compares with your experience now with uh, Nick Saban. Well. Hey, one, I haven't met Coach Saban yet. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Uh, Word is doing an incredible job in embracing the former players, encouraging everybody to come back to be a part of the program. My experience with Shula, when he first got hired, I went down and actually met him. Went to his office, congratulated him on the job. If he ever needed anything, I wanted to support him. Well, one day, just driving around campus, I get a call from Jeremiah Castillo, he and Joey Jones were at one of the practice, and Jeremiah invited me to come out. Uh, as always, you walk through um, the, the, you know, the home locker room onto the field. And, you know, that was just natural for me to do that. As I walked onto the field, within about 15, 20 minutes, I see Randy Ross and Cedric Barnes coming over to Jeremiah uh, and, and Joey Jones and myself and told us, hey, hey guys, Coach Schuler wants you to go sit up in the stands. You know, I was taken back by that, got really offended for that, and uh, I got I got mad and left. And, uh, you know, I haven't for the one I went down to the game that first team that she was down there, and personally haven't been back since. I just got offended by that, that whole deal. So I felt like we did more than enough to, to be able to walk on the football field. 
I got a and, feeling uh, that a lot of players, former players, shared the feelings that uh, you had as well. Yeah, and, you know, it was, it was just across the board. We just mm -hmm. felt like we weren't welcome at the university again. And, uh, you know, I, I, can, I can assure you, Coach Say, definitely not like that. Uh, I back him and, you know, whatever he does. And I, I, I totally support the university. I love Alabama. I love what we, you know, my plan down there. And, and I love the direction that we're going in right now. Lemansky, let me ask you about that ring on your finger. You shared it with us. The 1992 National Championship team, obviously you were part of that. What made that team so special, Lemansky? Well, I, I think for the most part it was a, it was a group of guys that bought into what Coach Stalin and his staff were trying to teach us. It, it, it was a oneness. It wasn't one individual person. Uh, it was just a oneness of that whole team. And from a defensive side of it, I mean, you think about the guys that were on that defense. I played alongside Eric Curry, in my opinion, one of the top defensive ends to ever play at Alabama. Then you got John Copeland, who was a teammate of mine, going up through high school, junior high, elementary school. But he and I had come from the same hometown to play together. That was good. And then my roommate, uh, Antonio London, who we competed all the time for tackles. Uh, you think about George Teague, Langham, Sam Shea. Mike Rogers, mm. Derek Oden. I mean, you can go on and on and on. James Gregory, you go on and on and on about that team. Man, it was just a oneness. And we, we went out there and we played hard during practice and we played hard during the game and we had some success in doing that. You know what? I could talk on and on and on, <laughs> but before we get out of here, you got less than a minute, if you will. For all the moms and dads watching and uh, want more information about uh, your D1 business, do you have a website or how can we get in touch? Well, we do have a site. It's www.d as in dog, one, sportstraining.com. Gotcha. Um, you got to definitely check it out. We are in Huntsville. we got five locations. We are coming to Alabama. We're getting a location right now in Huntsville, Alabama. Then we're going to move to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and my affiliation with D1 is just a state of Alabama. I'm working the Birmingham and the Huntsville location. So um, you can check the website out. It has my information on there. They can contact me, Lemansky, at D1SportsTraining.com also if they need more information. Hey, man, good job. Good luck with those boys and girls up in Tennessee, all right? <laughs> hey, you know, it's a tough place to be, man. That's right. You know, <laughs> you know these Tennessee people, have, they, they are funny people. And uh, they think the robbery is between Alabama and Tennessee, but they don't know it's Alabama-Auburn. <laughs> You'll have to educate them, Lemansky. Hey, man, listen, good job. Thank you so much, and good luck to you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much, much, Lemansky. There you have it. Lemansky Hall, the uh, not-so-shy and quiet. That's right. Levansky Hall. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to try to come back and have the final Somehow. word. I think our work is cut out for us. That's next on so the Sports Bus. Stay with us.